Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is set relative location and rotation? This is basically a helper node. It, we have our set relative location node and we have our set relative rotation node. This one just simply combines the two into one. That's it. It's going to take in a scene component like the other two. It's going to take in a location because we're setting the location and a rotator because we're setting in the rotation. Let me go ahead and split these so I can show you my example. I'm just simply going to run this and we're going to see both the rotation and the location changing at the same time for my drawer. Kind of a silly example, but this is what the node is used for. It basically allows me to set the rotation and the location at the same time in one node. So if you ever find yourself needing to do that, rather than using two of them and chaining them, you can drive it off of one node. That's pretty much it. It's going to contain the same settings. We have a sweep, which is of course for collisions and overlapping. We have teleporting, which will enable or disable physics as needed if you have teleport turned on. Our output will be our hit result if we hit anything when we are moving. I'm pretty sure that the hit result will not trigger on just a rotation because of the way that rotations don't trigger hit results right now. But that's it. That is our set relative location and rotation node. It is just a helper node. It's there to combine the location and rotation nodes into one. It takes in a scene component, takes in a location, takes in a rotation, so it's a vector and a rotator, and you can turn on and off collision with sweeping, and on and off physics with teleport.